So here at TNT, we do a lot of glue ups. But in that, we've noticed there's a large gap in what we do versus what a homeowner, woodworker, garage guy does. So we're gonna take this guy, pretty much scale it down to something a normal person can put together with their own clamps, bolt it together, sit it on their tabletop, and start gluing flat boards, butcher blocks, all that type of thing. Now let me take you through the idea. So we're gonna use some square tubing, whatever we got laying around. We're gonna take just a standard three quarter inch bar clamp and make it where it can attach to the end and then you fully adjust it. We honestly haven't figured out the fine details of it. It's just an idea. So this is the first prototype of the TNT clamp rack. Although we were happy with how it turned out, we instantly started picking it apart. The first thing we noticed is that the clamps were not flush. A flaw like this would instantly make this thing useless. Because we used 16 gauge steel, we were also concerned that the holes would wear away over time. And what if someone wanted to use multiple units? for a longer glue up. How can we ensure people have a level flush gluing surface across eight or 12 feet? With these things in mind, it was time to build more of them. We have teamed up with five woodworkers who glue up boards frequently, and we are making each of them a prototype. It'll be their job to stress test our new glue up rack and give us feedback on how to make it better. You can find their social media tags in the description below and follow along for honest reviews. It's important to us that these racks last forever and provide value to woodworkers across the country. Another important thing to consider is production rate. Prototypes take a long time to build, and that's okay until you have a final design in mind. But when it comes time for release, we need to pump these out without sacrificing precision and quality. You can pre-order these racks on our website, madeatthefarm.com. All pre-orders will receive free shipping, a limited run TNT shirt, and the option to choose the color of your clamp rack. <laughs> like, flat. Today we're gonna be surprisingly flat because those are bent clamps. That's good. At least hole straightening is important. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> are we talking about it or am I just talking to the camera? We're, we're gonna try a bunch of things and then I'm gonna edit, <laughs> I'm gonna edit it to what works. Okay, so. <laughs> Cut, check, <laughs> restart. All right, so today we're gonna to be going over our newly developed product. What are we calling it? Um, TNT glue up station? No, 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 we got a, it's like a desktop or a bench top glue up. It's a mouthful already. I know. Like even TNT glue up rack is a mouthful. TNT. Maybe you guys could help us out with that. Yeah, what should we name this thing? <laughs> we're gonna show you the TNT glue clamp. This was our first prototype, yep. and we built it with just the basic idea of looking at the JLT and saying, how do we do that with pipe clamps? Yep. From there, we wanted to refine it, and we added modular plates. So if you have multiple of these glue-up stations, you can bolt them together long ways or vertical in order to get more glue-up surface. Now, we ended up also adding reinforcement bars underneath the holes because we thought the holes would wallow out over time. A good thing about this glue up rack is you can have any size clamps. Here we have real long boy and real short boy. 
And the whole idea is that you wouldn't have to buy special clamps in order to use this machine. So we're going to get started on the glue up process and fill these racks up with various size boards. Because I mean, this one's definitely like salt. salt. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, I like those reinforcement tabs. <laughs> yeah, they do a lot. Because like you can do this over here. It's just it doesn't feel as secure. Right here. Right. We we put more is, on it. This is a 36 incher. Right. So I think next round we ought to test to see if we can do like 48 inch fucking glue ups on it. Right. Yeah, that's the next thing we got to do. Is just te see how hard yeah. it tests. Yeah, we got to test it better. But dude, like, you this know, is a good I test. Like it, it is still solid. You know. I spent all day milling this shit. Can you imagine milling like nine tables to test on this shit? Come on. Right. So you know what? Our next test, our next test should be when we have um, three that we make right at the same time, and you know we can bolt them together, and then we can do like three long glue ups, mm -hmm. three long like six foot by thirty six desktops. Well, that's the next ones, right? We're yeah. doing three. Um, Yep. Still not going to have jigs though, so they're going to be like custom, these. Custom. Yeah. yeah. So what are we going to do to improve our infrastructure? To make these even better, faster, we're going to get a milling machine for our holes. We're going to upgrade all the material to just better specs, thicker specs. Um, we're also going to grab a chop saw that's specific, nice metal blade for the chop saw. We're also going to, um, shit, what else will you? No, I think, I think that's about it. See, I mean, if we get the mill, we can drill the holes fast and straight, like in and hole tubes. Saw. And if we get the right chop saw, we can cut the angles and stuff perfect right off yeah. the bat. Then after um, that, you're already a master oh, welder. Oh, belt sander. Oh. So we're going to double down and get a 2 by 72 house-made um, belt sander that'll make cleanup process a lot easier and double as other fun things. 